Welcome to our training on the Subscribe and Save program. At Amazon, we make it easier for customers to maintain a supply of everyday essentials. For eligible products, they see an option to subscribe, which lets them set up discounted repeat purchases on a customized cycle of weeks or months. This option saves customers time and money, automating regular orders with the option to adjust units, skip a cycle, or cancel their subscription at any time. It also helps brands secure ongoing sales and attract loyal customers. Let's find out how brands get started with Subscribe and Save. We'll review program requirements, options for product enrollment, and tools that can help you optimize subscription-based sales. Many products are automatically enrolled in Subscribe and Save with no action needed on the part of the seller and at no cost. Auto enrollment usually takes place when two basic requirements are met. The first requirement is that the product is part of a brand enrolled in Amazon brand registry and that the seller is internal to the brand. If you'd like more information about brand registry and access to brand selling benefits like subscribe and save, see the series of modules in our Seller University course, Launch Your Brand in the Amazon Store. The second requirement for auto enrollment is that the product is shipped through fulfillment by Amazon or FBA, and that the seller has an FBA account in good standing. We also use the product's category, fulfillment history, inventory stability, sales performance, and average selling price to confirm that it's a candidate for subscribe and save. Products fulfilled directly by sellers aren't enrolled in subscribe and save automatically, but a seller internal to a registered brand can request that a product they fulfill directly be enrolled in the program. We'll cover that process a little later in this video. In addition to these two basic program requirements, it's important to note that a subscribe and save offer only appears to customers when it's part of the featured offer for a product. A seller who meets the requirements for subscribe and save can check the enrollment of their products at any time. Hover over growth in the main menu, click Explore Programs, then click Increase Conversion and locate the subscribe and save card. On the Subscribe and Save page, you'll see a list of your products currently enrolled in the program. For each product, you'll see the number of units in your current FBA inventory, the number of active customer subscriptions, and the discount you're currently providing, which will be defaulted to 0% unless you increase it. At the top, you'll also see your total revenue, units shipped, and subscription count across products along with a percentage for subscription orders that couldn't be delivered because items were out of stock. If you don't see an FBA product on the Subscribe and Save page that you think is eligible, you can contact Seller Support anytime to request that it be enrolled. You can also contact Seller Support to request that a product you fulfill directly be enrolled in Subscribe and Save. In both cases, provide seller support with the product's ASIN, confirm your fulfillment method, and confirm that the product belongs to your enrolled brand. You can also remove all your existing products from the program or opt out of future automatic enrollments if you prefer not to participate in Subscribe and Save. Note that neither option automatically triggers the other. Removing existing products from Subscribe and Save doesn't opt future products out of auto-enrollment and vice versa. Note too that while both options prevent customers from creating subscriptions fulfilled using your units, they still allow other eligible sellers who list the same products to participate in Subscribe and Save. The Subscribe and Save page is also where you can manage Subscribe and Save products one at a time. At the end of each product row, click the arrow button. You can then select Remove Product from Program to withdraw your units from Subscribe and Save. Or, if you notice that your inventory is low, click Send Replenish Inventory to go to the Send to Amazon workflow, where you can create an FBA shipment for the product. 
You can also click the Choose Seller Funded Discount button to change the discount you're offering subscription customers. Products are always auto-enrolled in Subscribe and Save at a seller funded discount of 0%, which means there's no cost to you, but still an advantage to customers who can receive repeat orders without having to purchase them manually. You can update products to reward subscription customers with a 5% or 10% discount. After selecting an updated discount in the pop-up, click the Confirm Discount button. On all subscription orders of five or more units, Amazon also adds another 5% to the discount for a limited time, bringing the customer's total savings to 5%, 10%, or 15%. This Amazon-funded discount can help encourage subscribe and save orders. Note that when you increase a discount on a product, both existing and new subscription customers enjoy the increased savings. But if you decrease a discount, only new subscriptions are impacted. To preserve customer trust, your existing customers will keep enjoying the original discount you offered. If you'd like to offer the same seller-funded discount on all newly enrolled products, you can click Change Default Enrollment Discount at the top of the page. This won't change the discounts associated with products already enrolled in Subscribe and Save, but can make it easier to offer a consistent discount on your future products. In some cases, you may also need to transfer a subscription from one SKU to another for the same ASIN. For example, if you update the SKU you use for a coffee filter, you'd need to transfer your subscribe and save subscriptions for that coffee filter to the new SKU. In this scenario, you can click Request to Transfer Subscriptions to go to our Manage Subscribe and Save Products help page to learn how to submit a transfer request. Before we end our training on Subscribe and Save, let's review three tools that can help you grow and manage products enrolled in the program. These tools can help you grow your Subscribe and Save sales. They can also help you monitor customer subscriptions and your FBA inventory so you can meet ongoing demand. They can help you maintain steady pricing too, which customers often expect for repeat purchases. The first tool is the Increase Subscribe and Save Funding section of the Product Recommendations page, which you can access by clicking View More Recommendations in the top right corner of the Subscribe and Save page. This tool lists products you currently have enrolled in the program that we recommend offering to subscription customers with a 10% seller-funded discount. Products are listed according to the estimated incremental sales lift that a 10% seller-funded discount might have over a 90-day period. We also provide the average daily sessions or views for each product over a 30-day period a 30-day conversion rate, and other metrics to help you decide whether to offer a 10% discount. The second tool is a dashboard on the Subscribe and Save page. Simply click Performance Dashboard, then review each top-line metric from the previous section as a graph. Below Shipped Revenue and Shipped Units, you'll see estimated projections for the next 30, 60, and 90 days based on your current subscriptions. At the bottom, we provide a comparison of your average subscriber and non-subscriber revenue for the past 12 months. The third and fourth tools are FBA reports, which you can access by hovering over reports in the main menu, then clicking Fulfillment. The first report, Subscribe and Save Forecasting, is under Inventory and provides an eight-week estimated sales projection based on current subscriptions and sales history. Select a start date for the report, then select either CSV or TXT as your file type. When your status is ready, you can click the Download button in the Report Status column. In the report, you'll see a list of products that includes the number of subscriptions, as well as the number of units scheduled for fulfillment each week. The second report, Subscribe and Save Performance, is under Sales and provides a four-week snapshot of units that were shipped previously through the program. Select a start date and report type. 
Then download your finished report to see a list of products that includes the number of units shipped, your out of stock rate, and your average discount for each week. This concludes our training on the Subscribe and Save program. If you'd like to learn about other brand selling benefits, see our Seller University video, Benefits of Enrolling a Brand in Amazon Brand Registry. Thank you and happy selling in the Amazon store.